Hey, how's it going all you lovely people at Shut Door or Door Shutter coming back to you with episode 41 of the Direwolf 21.20 mod pack and today we're immediately going to get into this here. So we're going to get the new blood orb for tier four because we did get that completed. As you can see, I just put a glass floor down so we can see all of the runes and everything. And that is a master blood orb. Perfect. So I actually want to toss this in there and actually get just a little bit more life essence. I think, let's see, how much do I have currently? Oh, actually, I have way more than enough. I don't need to do that. Okay. Um, I'll show you guys why I have way more than enough. Because we're going to do the Well of Suffering in this episode, uh, which does require a Dusk uh, Ritual Diviner, as it says down here. Uh, it requires 40,000 LP. That's something I didn't mention. When you activate a Ritual, you need to have a certain amount of Life Essence in your Life Network. Uh, of course, in the Orb, basically. Uh, to actually activate certain things. So that is one thing we didn't go over, but it is there. 40,000, we have 100,000, so we should be fine to activate the Well of Suffering. But we do need to toggle this off. So let's take this out, take this out, and then take... Where in the world is he? I don't know why there's a... I think it's the rat guy. Like, smacked him in the face. But, okay. Um, quickly, we can actually get the Dusk stuff real quick. Doesn't matter if nothing else is spawning. We should have enough. So, there's one. So, we need another one. Perfect. And then this plus two Demonic Slates, which are right here. So, Ritual Diviner. So, one of the things we're going to have to look at is definitely clearing this out real fast. Just get all these guys taken out of this pit, okay? And we're gonna take out this platform. So I don't think this tells us a hundred percent where this actually needs to be placed. Uh, let's see, does it tell us anything? Uh, within its damage zone, it puts harvested blood into the nearby blood altar. Puts a blood orb. Put a blood orb in there. Add a few runes of sacrifice. Okay. Uh, I don't think it really tells us. So we're just going to try and place this as close as to where we had it. Uh, we may need to put it a block or so above it. So let's do right here. So one block taller. And then we kind of need to see... Uh, do 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 Well of Suffering is what we're looking for, by the way. Oop, just passed it. There we go. Okay, so we just need to make sure we have enough space. So how high does this go? So it looks like it has one, two, three, four. So from here, one, two three, four. So it actually looks like it would go into the floor there. Uh, so let's actually try and push it down one. Okay. Uh, I mean, that actually looks like it would work, but it is going to be annoying. Okay, we'll do it one, and we'll just figure out where these actually need to go. So we can just take out the blocks. So we'll go... Okay. And it looks like we're going to miss a block here, 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 and here. Okay. And then a weak activation crystal. So that should be active. And all we need to do is just place blocks there. And then I think we should be able to activate this. Um, I guess I didn't really need to get rid of the redstone link, but oh well. Alright, let's quickly take a sleep here, because it is thundering. Even though it's got a rain shield and everything, we can still hear the thunder. Okay. So let's actually put this... I think... No, we'll take this out here. Hold on. So we're going to place this down first. Do monster... Do outline. There we go. So we'll probably do uh, six. 
I think you can use the scroll wheel. Yes, we can. Okay, so seven, seven, and then we'll go 11 in that kind of range-ish. So we want to have 20 less than redstone. Is this working? Let's get rid of the outline real quick, because that's going to bug me. I guess it actually is. Perfect. So if we turn this on... Oh, we need a collector. So let's quickly grab that. Uh, let's grab an iron chest. There we go. I guess not technically an iron chest, but that's okay. And then demagnetization coil. Is this thing not fast enough? I don't think it's fast enough. To keep up, even. Um, well, that's not good. We could do more runes of sacrifice. Right here. Oops, did not mean to take that out of there, but okay. Is that going to be able to keep up? No, it's not. So what if we do extract and we increase the tick rate to like 40 ticks? No. 80 ticks? Hmm. Well, this is a problem. Yeah, and, and speeding that up won't affect it from what it looks like. Oh, maybe. Okay, so let's grab a surge. Let's grab a soul pipe. I don't really want to place this here, so what we might do is we may... Well, actually, I don't think I could place this anywhere else, can I? Because if we were to... Basically take a pipe. Kind of push it up this direction. Um, I think we'd have to take a hook to the right. And then go up. And then there's the redstone link here. Oh, well, we'll just put it on the other side real quick. Okay. So then the soul scourge thing, which is in here now. Uh, should be able to be placed here, but I don't want the creepers spawning. I mean, they're all no AI, aren't they? So it's not like it matters. Okay. It's a very stupid looking thing, but I'm kind of wondering if this will work. It looks like it's not going to. But let's give it a shot. So we need to put the redstone link back down. Okay, let's take that out. See, it starts fighting it. Hmm. 
I feel like if we wanted to get this like better off, we probably need to get just straight up sacrifice runes on one of these levels. No capacity, just sacrifice. I don't even know if that would work though. Um Man, we could just shoot for it and see what happens, I guess. Do we have a shrinking device? We do. Let's grab one of these real quick. So, uh... Just go down to point two. Shift right click. Okay. And then... Let's just place the three we have. Sacrifice. What do I need for the next set? So more blank runes. Which are probably all up in this chest. Because it's going to steal everything. I probably should put a filter on here for gunpowder and uh, miniature hearts. Let's do that. So it doesn't pick everything up. Perfect. So sacrifice. Oh, it's because I've not been picking up blank runes. That's probably a reason why. So how many do we need? Just two for right now? Perfect. And then for the actual demagnetization stuff, we could do the exact same thing. We only want to pick that stuff up. Is that better? Okay, that actually looks like it might be better. Let's unshrink here. So if I were to take the iron downgrade out here for a second. Okay, that looks like actually it's going to be better. So let's take out a lot of those. Perfect. Let's toss this stuff away. But I mean, that is working. Right now we have, I think, enough sacrifice runes. So what is that? So three, four, five, so five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty sacrifice runes. That is a lot of sacrifice runes. And I think the bottom only consists of three. No. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven plus twenty. So you've got thirty-one uh, in total there. Which is not the greatest, I would think. I would probably want to get more capacity. But we're at 44,000, so I guess it's not too awful. Um, and I don't know. Let's break this. Let's see what happens if I turn the soul thing off. Are we keeping that consistent pace? Oh, no, we are dipping. So if I attach that back... So that actually does work. Putting a soul pipe on the actual master ritual stone functions. Okay, so if we take this back out. Yeah, we aren't dipping that much. That soul pipe is absolutely fantastic. I wish I could get it in a better spot. Um, I mean, really, if I wanted to clean this pipe up, if I came out this direction instead of where I have it, we could do a straight shoot. Might look a little bit better than what we have currently. Just a wee bit better. Not the greatest, but still just a little bit better. Okay. I kind of want to like clean this area up real quick. Let's take a second. Let's do that. Let's get this dirt out of here. The only place we can't remove is the stone. So if we wanted to, could we... Yeah, we could do that. Just put the stone... So the pedestal would go here. The stone would go here. We'd give it the iron pickaxe real quick. Give it the material generator. Give the pulling upgrade. Let's flip this around. Give the pulling upgrade a downwards direction. So 
so it can pull from there. And then let's grab some smooth stone. Don't know why smooth stone, but smooth stone. I guess I'll need to change that too. I was hoping I could avoid it, but then I forgot I have glass. So shrinking device. Gonna have to start using that a little bit more. Getting those tight corners a little bit easier. Tight holes and all that stuff. So definitely awesome. Okay. So that cleans that up. And of course we can see the pedestal, which is fine. But uh, yeah, we have basically automated room or uh, automated slates, right? I mean, we could get to tier five. We could start looking at that. But I'm just happy where we are right now. Um, man, that is so cool. That, that is, Souls mod is definitely making things a lot better. Uh, making this faster, making this faster. I, I have no problems with this. Um, let's check our blood network. Does this actually use any... Okay, so there's our problem. There's our issue. This is actually still currently operating. Even though it's full. I don't know. Can we turn this off with a redstone signal? Can we turn... I don't remember Can if you can do that with rituals. Okay, where are we at with our network? Okay, quite quick. So can I do this? It looks like I might be able to. Actually, it turns off the soul scourge. I didn't know you could redstone enable that. That's pretty cool to know. But it looks like I can actually disable that. So if I grab a redstone link here, and I grab a wrench, um, Let's see. I want to probably do smooth stone. And we can do... How do I want to do this? I don't know. I was kind of thinking that we could do it based off of slates, but we don't have that last tier yet, even. Uh, we can move it. Right? We can move that. And I would think we just put a one to, want to put an or gate. I think maybe not a hundred percent sure on that one yet. Would that work? We're trying things. We're gonna see if we can get this better off. Uh, I don't think that's gonna function the way I'm thinking. So we can actually just place the redstone link there. And then quickly put a piece of smooth stone right here. And then grab this. When there is 64, we'll send a signal. So if I push those in there, that should send a signal here and disable it. Okay. Um... But I'm kind of thinking we probably want to put logic here, right? We probably want to say... Um, this... Let's see. Uh, redstone. I thought there was a redstone mod, right? This little mod. More red. So if we put... Probably a two or gate, right? Two input and gate. To input NAND gate. So the NOR gate, or actually the just the OR gate. So what I'm thinking here is if we have a lever, right? So this would be one redstone signal. This would be the other redstone signal. So whichever one of these is active would basically toggle this. So if I had a manual lever and I toggled this, it would prevent it from running. But if this was off and there was no inventory checker signal, which would be this one, um, this would be off, right? Until it's like, oh, you have this much, let's turn the whole thing off, okay? So that's what my thought is right now. So let's try that. So if we take this out, and we push... Oh, how do I want to do this? I probably want to have this... Uh, you know what? Let's... 
Let's just do a tier five. Let's do a tier five altar. Let's see if we can get that going. Okay, so it looks like tier five needs the Hellforged block. Um, so you get Hellforged ingots. Yeah, there you go. So you need nine Hellforged ingots. Hellforged ingots to get a tier five altar. So it looks like we'll need to go into the demon realm, uh, which I'm not a hundred percent sure how we go about doing that. So uh, rituals. Let's go check out this, which we want to look at tier. So we're we're gonna want to look at this aspected will. I think you'll want to look into the ritual tinker and the various kinds of will aspects. So what is a ritual tinkerer? So there's this thing, uh, which we need a master blood orb for, which is actually currently in here. So ritual tinker. So if we right click on this block, oh, you can actually configure the radius. All mobs within this area will take damage every second or so until they die. This does not include player players, unfortunately. Interesting. That is a massive range. So it just kind of tells us that. Huh. Interesting. Okay. I didn't know that was actually a thing. I didn't know we had something that could show us the radius. So I think, technically, we could probably put this up higher and get this out of the way if we wanted to. But, you know, oh well. So it looks like we can look at the Residence of face Faceted Crystal. Goodness gracious. Um, 20. Okay, so let's grab Ritual Stones. Uh, 20 of these. So we actually need... I think it's these... Okay, so 20 of these. And then a Master Ritual Stone, which requires four normal Ritual Stones. Okay. And then let's go over... Yeah, in this chunk. That'll work. So we're going to place this here. We're going to look at our Ritual Diviner. So we're looking for... I don't think the Fractured Crystal. We're just looking for Faceted. Uh, faceted. So there's the actual Endless Realm one. There it is. Oh, so this actually needs to place, like, a block or so above the ground. So stone. We'll just grab that real quick. I don't know, how many blocks deep is it? Just two? Okay. And then a weak activation crystal. Now, I think it's actually in here. Okay. And then what do we need for this? Uh, into separately aspected crystal clusters. So we're looking for making these actual crystals. Hold on, I haven't done that yet. Let's go back. So we're looking at blood magic. One more time here in the JEI thing. Because I'm not sure. So there's a demon crucible, a demon crystallizer, and a demon pylon. Is that what we're looking for? Uh, soul snares, hellfire forge, tartaric gems, explosive charges, throwing daggers. So there's not really a whole lot on this, but let's search real fast. All right, so there's a whole chapter on uh, will manipulation. That's kind of where we need to start, I would assume. So crystallized will. 
Looks like we need a demon catalyzer. Um, uh, let's see. Plenty of demon will in your Tartaric gym. It's time to explore what happens when you unleash it upon the world. First off, you'll need to get will into the aura. Next, you'll need a demon crystallizer. Demon will aura. So we need a demon crucible. Okay, so let's just let's just go with it. So blood magic. Uh, demon. Just type that in. So we're gonna need, I guess, all three of these. Let's just craft them. So let me grab all three of these things real fast. So I can't grab the pylon yet. So just these two. So crystallizer crucible. I'll be back. So I quickly wanted to mention, um, if you put a sentient sword uh, on a pedestal, it actually does give you will. I'm currently attached this to the wither farm. I don't 100% know why I put it on the wither farm specifically, but um, yeah, you can do this. Watch when this guy dies. So I have 733.25, and when he dies, I just got um, quite a bit more. What is that, 15 more will? So I'm just standing here. Farming some will without killing anything. Uh, and also, the sentient sword won't take damage uh, by the pedestal. So it's just going to last indefinitely. So if you wanted to farm will this way, there is definitely... Uh, I guess you could say that when there's a will, there's a way, right? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to let this actually process for a little while. And I think what we'll do is we will be back next episode to kind of get all of the demon will manipulation stuff. Because I don't think I ever really messed with this too much in Cave Factory. So this is a whole new territory for me. But I did get the Crystallizer and Crucible. And so yeah, now we're just going to wait to get uh, all of the will that we could use. I think after that we'll hopefully be able to get the Greater Tataric Gem uh, once we actually get the crystallized will and all that stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay awesome. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.